It seems to be the university mascot. In professional circles, this kind of thing is called boomerang understatement. What's wrong with you? You sound just as pig-headed as your father. And he didn't bring the world to within an inch of total destruction through his behavior. Yeah, but his behavior isn't going to save it either. <sighs> What's wrong with you? He, yeah. I'm feeling brand of a dozy. <laughs> I just can't quit. Where's the nicotine chewing gum when you need it? <laughs> You're still here. Of course, Mr. Rufus. After all, we are on the cusp of an epical discovery. And anyway, there are junk ball jocks waiting outside the lecture hall again. They'll have to wait. We are going on an excursion. Pack your things. We're off to... Ma, ma, ma. The neighboring building. Thanks, Hildebrain. Somewhat misplaced, but you still get a star. Wow, cool. Whoa. Impressive, isn't it? What is it? Me, me, me! Ah, nerd bird? Oh, an impulse-induced tachyon field generator? Mm -hmm. Popularly known as a... Anyone? Perhaps a chubby over there. Mm, um, uh, um, time portal machine? Time portal machine, precisely. Because it creates a time portal. But where? Sure, of course, the interim time, the turquoise tunnel, as we experts also call it. And now, for the master question, how to turn that thing on? Turn it on? But, uh... All right, people, I want discussion. Mm. That thing at the front was the tachyon tank. But the milk bottle with the bicycle pump? You need a substance that emits tachyons. Ugh, by the smell, I'd say it used to contain feta cheese. And you have to adjust the nozzle so they concentrate on the thinnest place in space-time. You can detect a so-called potential portal with 4D glasses. 4D glasses, feta cheese, anything else? You're not intending to open a portal into interim time, are you? And why not? But Chronicle says it's too dangerous. It can perforate the whole of space-time. Oh, hogwash. The proof of the pudding is in the eating. You can't win if you don't buy a ticket. Uh, will that be in the exam? It seems to be the university mascot. In professional circles, this kind of thing is called boomerang understatement. And are you coming along? Well, I can't see the sense in that. Uh, was that a yes or a no? Uh-huh. Someone was chewing gum in my class and didn't give me any, except for the fresh box lunch. It's gonna rain homework. in and help a bit. Perhaps she's realized how pointless his efforts are. But maybe she just got an anti-everything attitude that's gonna get her a bad semester report. If it keeps working like that, I'm sure this story will eventually come to a happy end. It flows downhill, but it flows. Stay away from our junk ball training bag. Training bag? That looks to me more like a Drexican pinata. Typical sighted person. It's not always about how things look. But rather than it rains candy? No. But that doesn't hurt, right? What is this supposed to be? Zen and the art of beating things up? 
Exactly. Only through absolute calm and balance can aggression be perfectly channeled. Oh, my ass. Away with the stuff. from our junk ball training bag. That's not a training bag. That's a goat. Ha! Nice try. I may be blind, but my other senses are all the sharper for it. I can hear the room. Taste objects. And I can smell in your facial expression that you're trying to trick me. Uh, yeah. That was my facial expression, and not yesterday's chili. And... Strike! <laughs> What's going on? My mucous membranes are... Swelling up! Oh, anaphylactic shock! It's my goat's hair allergy! My eyes are burning! <laughs> <laughs> Bravo! You finally hit something dead on! <laughs> my sense of humor. Hey! Stay away! I already told you that's a goat! Where do you think the bleeding comes from? From my wife, of course. She's always bleeding on at me. Claim with that my sports things are actually animals, nuns, or, or the neighbor's children. But how, pray tell, would a goat manage to get down here to the underwater palace? <laughs> okay, suppose that it isn't a goat. Can I still milk it? Of course, help yourself. But be careful, sometimes they bite. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank? You probably built some 4D glasses and realized the cheese emits tachyons, right? Eh, false. Then it was a trick question, because it is not a good idea at all. Correct answer. Reminds me of my brief career as an industrial spy in the Schlonzer sausage mines. I still don't know how my cover was blown. Hey, these pieces of glass would be perfect for my 4D glasses. Just a shame that they don't stick together on their own. I'm feeling brand of a dozy. <laughs> I just can't quit. Where's the nicotine chewing gum when you need it? <laughs> Is that chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy. I've just realized that I've got the munchies. But the tobacco is so good. So yummy, yummy in my tummy. <laughs> it's such a shame. Where's the nicotine chewing gum when you need it? I don't know much about the production of nicotine gum, but I have chewing gum, and that contains nicotine. Should work, right? Nicotine chewing gum? Oh boy, oh boy! I've just realized that I've got the munchies. Wait, I'll just put my toothy pegs back in. Munchtastic. Mm, 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 oh, yummy.
Ta-da! I present to you the 4D Glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two! Who can tell me what this is? Are those supposed to be 4D glasses? It is a set of 4D glasses. Is that stained glass from a window? Don't touch! That is a highly sensitive, scientific whatnot. Ta-da! I present to you the 4D glasses! Makes potential time portals visible and raises cinema admission prices by the power of two. I see a kind of ring. Oh, I know! That must be a place where the dimension membrane between here and interim time is especially thin. Not thinner than your derivation, nerdo. <laughs> exactly, Hildy. It's in the middle of the machine. Oh, good. Then we don't need to calibrate it at all. <laughs> Fortune has changed sides. Now the idiots are completely screwed. Who can tell me why it's a good idea to put feta cheese into the tank? You probably built some 4D glasses and... And now, the follow-up question. What color are tachyons? Uh, she means pink. Then it is proven. Feta cheese emits tachyons. Write that down. The portal is open! But that's way too small. Maybe there isn't enough pressure on the tachyon jets. More pressure? <laughs> no problem. I'm a professional when it comes to generating pressure. My shoe barely fits through that. If I wanted time traveling shoes, I could just open a hipster bar. <laughs> You've actually done it! <laughs> Did you ever doubt it? Yes! Yes! We only really went along for the ride because it was kind of fun. Not because we really believed we'd learn anything new. And that, dear children, is today's final lesson. Sometimes you can have both, after all. What's wrong with you? You sound just as pig-headed as your father. And he didn't bring the... Yeah, but his ba... <sighs> and are you coming along? Well, I can't see the sense in that. Uh, was that a yes or a no? Another potential portal hidden under the carpet. What are we gonna do now? Yeah, but who knows if it's safe? Nothing venture, nothing game. Macronicle! Hurrah! The tachyons must have spread out in the near vicinity of the portal. There's a relatively high probability that they have opened up portals at Kuba. And how high is high? How in a clue? One in a thousand, maybe? And that's good? Relatively. It's the only chance that we're going to get, and also, one more than we really deserve. Uh, speaking of which, I still have to pick Gola. That means the leap into the unknown without any guarantee of being able to return has got to wait? No, I'd rather go get her right away. Goal! We did it! The guys and I have opened a time portal! Wow, well done. Don't be like that. I told you, I'll make it right again. And I told you, go away. Oh, come on, Goal. Take off the hat and... Hey, hands off! Uh, I do understand where you're coming from. After all, that palaver with the Platypus Puppet Theater wasn't exactly subtle, was it? Puppet Theater? 
Oh, that. that uh, yes, that was intentional. But look at them. They're both trapped. Without any hope, I'll never be able to escape my hamster wheel. Wait, you think you're the platypus in the hamster wheel? Of course. That one is clearly female. Look at her, she... Ha! <laughs> I knew it! There is hope! You're right. It is the male. At least she's now free. Yes. Wow. Look how happy she is. She'll recover. On the other hand, one shouldn't overuse metaphors. Um. What's this? Hey, give it back! <laughs> when did you do that? While you were gadding about the fairground. What about it? And you got past the Nerva Man with that? Well, someone had to make sure that things could carry on. But then why are you so angry? Because we're not together in the photo? No, because we are. An illusion. A snapshot giving the wrong picture. Or do you think that at the end of the day, we'll be sticking that picture into our photo album? Everything here is going to have to end up being undone and reversed, so that we can save the world, so that there will be no few locks on Elysium. That's how it has to be, right? No, it isn't. Then tell me one thing that will still remain of our adventures. If you can do that, then I'm happy to come. Ha, easy. In the end, there's always one thing that remains. There, look at that. Pitch crap? Oh! Ah, it doesn't matter. Let's go. What the... What now? That looks like that interim we crossed in the time pod. But where did this city come from? And where are Gol and McChronicle? They jumped through the portal right before I did. Hey, you! You lock! Get off of my porch! Ah, a local. Can you tell me where I've landed? In my turnip patch! Wait a minute. Don't I know you? You're... You're Glandula, the romantic ninja. Just old and ugly. How is that possible? Are you trying to talk your head off? Don't you mean, am I trying to talk your ear off? Not if I got my gun pointed right. Oh. One step closer and I'll blow your turnip out. But Glandy, it's me, Professor Rufus. Doesn't that ring a bell? Professor Rufus? Yeah, that's it. He was the guy who's to thank for all of this. Just junk crabs and mites for years on end. <laughs> what about him? I, uh, I killed him. Well done! Now get out of my yard. All right, all right. The portal that leads to McChronicle's laboratory. Unfortunately, out of reach. Where the hell have I landed? Are you lost, stranger? No, I have a photographic sense of direction and always know exactly where I am. It's just the when has been a little confusing lately. When doesn't mean a thing round here. You're in interim time, a space alongside the past. Present and future, I know. I was gonna say perishable food. We don't have anything like a future here. Rumor has it there used to be one. The portal building authorities are digging around looking for it in the foundations of interim time. But if you ask me, it's just newfangled nonsense. No future? Two other newcomers passed by here earlier. They asked about the future too. Friends of yours, perhaps? Impossible. They were just with me. <laughs> Maybe out there. Here in interim time, the clocks tick a little different. <laughs> I see they have a few more hands, too. Well, welcome to Paradox City. My name's Rocco McChronicle. If you've got any questions, I'll be happy to help you, uh, um... Rufus. And actually, I do have a couple. Rocco Mc... What the hell did you say? Are you 
Rocco McChronicle, the father of Dean Angus McChronicle Sr., and therefore our McChronicle's grandfather? You must have confused me with someone else. I don't have a son, and if I did, I'm sure he wouldn't have become a Dean. After all, I'm running a family business here. Maybe we shouldn't talk about it. The last thing I need now is to accidentally prevent McChronicle's birth. Hey, that's the time pod. That there, that's been there since before I arrived. My father was going to repair it. That's why he founded the garage. Apparently it stopped being so important at some point. Like everything here. You've seen my friends? A sexy chick accompanied by a clever, handsome guy? Uh, not really. We were separated. Well, two strangers certainly passed by earlier on. They met the old hermit. It looked as though they knew each other. They headed off to her farm, turn left at the town hall, and then continue up that way. Where the hell am I? You're in Paradox City, the city between times. Aren't we always between times? Um, excuse me? You know present and future. Yes, I suppose, but although here we're not so much between the future, that doesn't exist here. I urgently need to get to Kuvak. Eh, it doesn't ring any bells. Is it beyond interim time? Of course. Then you'd better be off asking the guys from the portal building authorities. They map the portals and know where each one leads. What does that mean? you have no future. That's what I said. If that's what you're interested in, then ask the people at the portal building authorities. They're always talking about the future, and they're trying to dig one up from the junk beneath the city. Absolute madmen, if you ask me. We've never had a future here, and we've managed quite happily without it so far, thank you very much. Ah, oh, you obviously cannot help me. I'm sorry, buddy. Oh, there you are. Howdy, Rufus. You wouldn't believe who I met in the city. My granddad. I know. He didn't recognize me. No wonder. To him, you're not even born yet. I guess I never will be. Even the slightest interventions change the timeline. In all probability, we prevented the birth of my father already. Hogwash. I've seen everything possible and impossible in the last while, but nothing even remotely resembling a timeline. The whole thing is more like a fuzzy, knotted time scheme than anything else. It's okay, Rufus. I'm doing just fine. <sighs> Isn't it incredibly interesting here? Yeah, very picturesque, but we have to get a move on. Don't you remember? Where's gold? In the farmhouse, but there's no reason to hurry. Here in interim time... The clocks run differently, I already know. Still, no reason to take our foot off the gas. One of these portals must lead to Kuvak. We used it earlier ourselves. Yeah, it's that one there. That one? <laughs> I actually expected a few mind-bending puzzles first, but so much the better. Wait here. I'll go get gold, and then we can go get our future back. Now I just have to pick up gold, and then that time loop cranking so-and-so is going to have an out-of-body experience. Hey, Gold, no time for coffee. Time to move. We... Wait a second, am I counting right? Your goal, I mean, your goal too. And you are almost as perceptive as when I left you, Rufus, savior of the world, suicidal time traveler. <laughs> you forgot butt model, but how can that be? What are you doing here? Which goal are you? She's the goal that you rescued from the future. Yeah, and in return, she left me and Mac on Elysium, stole the time machine, and whoosh! That was the thanks we got. I've not got such a talent for dramatic endings as you. <laughs> and you didn't get far either. Yes. Perhaps I was a bit too quick off the mark there. When I arrived in interim time, there was no future anymore. The tunnel had simply come to an end, and the autopilot was steering me directly at it. I had to crash land and was stranded. For us, only a few hours have passed. For her, it's been a lifetime. Why didn't you use one of the portals? The portals only opened much later. At first, they were all out of reach. Then the Deponians started to throw their trash into interim time. 
The time travelers also started arriving from all sorts of pasts. Most were stranded here like me. We built Paradox City from the trash. We tried to reach the portals, but none of them led to the right time. Then, when the first children were born, we realized that we had built ourselves a new home. But now I'm here. So come on, we... What was that? An earthquake? We've only had one of those once before. The time when the portals opened. Yeah, never a dull moment around here. Don't run off. I'm gonna go have a look. Oh, come on. Where's the portal to Kuvak? And the others, all gone. I think I have an explanation. When the tachyons poured into the open portal unchecked just now in the lab, we didn't only open the one portal, but also all the surrounding ones too. Portals leaving to completely different places and times. As time passes much faster in here, they were open for years. A whole city was built whilst you fetched gold from the university. Shortly after you stepped through the portal, the anomaly closed behind you. In the lab, this was a blink of the eye. Here, countless minutes. You mean this city only exists because we opened the portal earlier? <laughs> really makes you think, eh? Yeah, like for example, how do we get out of here now that the portals are closed? I was thinking more of the moral implications. Well, what will happen to the people here if we restore the old timeline? Are we even allowed to do that? I can't see any signs. I noticed that too. You should get it looked at. Amazingly, there was still a bit of antidote left. Uh-huh. You girls having a good talk? I'm just telling Goal about your stamp cannon. Oh, yeah. I shouldn't have used so much cheese. You've become a sculptor? <laughs> I had a lot of time on my hands. That excuses some things, but not everything. Can I take that? Uh, no, it's not finished yet. I could finish it. And just how are you going to finish it? I can finish anything. You're going to finish me off one of these days. Are you finished yet? Yes. No. Oh, we'll just take it then. I will. On your marks, go. And finish. Okay, what just happened here? The portals have closed. I have to try to open them again. Are you coming along? Can't it wait? I'm having a conversation right now. Of course. You can just sit here all day long talking to yourself. You do that all the time, too. <laughs> Actually, he's the one who talks all the time. I just listen. some kind of death wish that involves being ripped to shreds by a pack of few locks. Well, I thought nothing ventured, nothing gained. Don't think, soldier. It's war out here. And in war, there were only losers. What are those trash cans for? Hey, keep your hands off. That's where we keep the seats so they don't go bad. And so the wombats can't get at them. Most critters are getting worse by the day, almost as bad as the few locks. I catch them meddling with the bins all the time. That's why I always keep my eyes on both sides. My wife says I've started to squint. <laughs> it's a good job it's so quiet on the few lock front. We're not equipped for a war on two fronts. Oh, no. Few lock alarm. Oh, again? Ugh. 
That means we'll have to take another compulsory break. No, it doesn't mean that. One can't keep the future waiting. Why? Has he got somewhere to go? Strange. I can't see anything. He really earned the diversion. He really earned the diversion. in the bins again. Strange. I can't see anything. Strange. I can't see anything. Strange. I can't see anything. Come on now. Show yourself. Give me something to shoot at. Strange. I can't see anything. Strange. I can't see anything. He really earned the diversion. Strange. We're out of few luck soup. We've got toast and milk. And I'm also available on the cheap. My name's Rita. Are you single? Uh, no. Uh, yes. Uh, it's complicated. Don't waste my time. I'm almost 40 and I'm a waitress in the city with no future. Do you really think I'm interested in listening to you moaning on? Well, you asked. I just wanted to... Tick tock. Tick tock. Do you hear that? That's my biological clock. Order something, propose to me, or move over for the next in line. The portals are closed. Ah! Thought so. Classic case of last minute panic. Do you have a time machine? Do you think I'd look like this if I had one? Time machines have become quite rare. Maverick has an instant change, but he'd rather run over his grandfather than take someone else on board. And then there's Vince, but he can only offer deterministic time travel. Firstly, that's boring, and secondly, Vince smells of prunes. Otherwise, I only know of the old time pod in Rocco's garage. No idea if that still works. So, if you need passage, just forget it. We're all stranded here. The best thing you can do is get married as quickly as possible. One order of, uh, toast and milk, please. Got any money? Nope. Then your girlfriend must be blind. Busy here. Anything free today? Yeah, a tip for your girlfriend. As long as she hasn't got a ring on her finger, she shouldn't let her man walk around the city on his own. No, I meant the food. Why didn't you say so? We're out of few luck soup. We've got toast and milk. Any other? Yeah, I think I'll pass. Hmm, I hear that quite often. I really should unsubscribe from that dating platform. Uh, occupied! You plan on being done in the crapper anytime soon? Don't rush me! I suffer from severe temporal constipation. Temporal constipation? Not perhaps temporal diarrhea? No, I'm over that. But, all oh, the crap! <laughs> surprise, surprise, huh? I recognized your voice. You're the time crapper. <laughs> the temporal toilet tourist, who apparently has made it his mission to clog every toilet in the entire multiverse. Uh, oh, uh, end times person? Uh, is that you? But I've only just met you. Uh, you gave me this wonderful toilet paper. The money from Cletus's suitcase. I remember. But that was my other adventure, a version of the future which no longer exists, as if a huge plug were clogging everything up. Oh, tell me about it. Oh, everything was flowing just fine. Oh, now it's come to a standstill. Exactly, but I'll get things back up and running. Oh, that would be great. 